Hello, this is Loper Designs coming at you from my room. Um, I just thought I'd make this video because I'm the now kind of proud owner of a, a Logitech X540S sound system. Um, oh, the subs down there. Ignore the cables. Um, but um, basically I was having this issue where I would play music and then the, the volume would go like go like quiet and then it would go real loud and then like the main issue was that it would go real loud um, and I thought I, I thought it was the computer to be honest I thought it was the aux cable because on Bluetooth it never did it um, with like other Bluetooth devices but then I changed laptops and it still did it um, which you know clued me in a bit um, <laughs> but so I did some research and it was it was crazy. I just looked up, I looked up like sound system, maybe I looked up Logitech sound system like volume fluctuating or something. And the first result was this forum post, which is in the description of the video, uh, talking about how the controller, which is, it comes with this little um, controller, which I've taken apart now and which I'll show you. But it comes with this controller which has a couple knobs on it right so which come which comes with this volume knob and it goes on here and then you get this kind of you have like power you have uh headphone jack um and some weird matrix mode which i never really use um because it's yeah that's never it makes it sound weird but anyway so this forum post basically said yeah crack this bad boy open and what you'll find is you'll find two um potentiometers um this one does the volume and this one does the bass so you got this one on here and then you got this one Right, volume, bass. And they basically said, it's a known issue with these Logitech uh, X540S potentiometers. Um, they just go dodgy and they start fluctuating, which is quite weird, I, I have to say. But when you research uh, what a potentiometer is, basically, you have the um, positive come in, um, and then there's this strip where depending on, and this is really clever, depending on where this circuit sort of closes the circuit around this resist resistive strip, there's more resistance as you go around, which means that the output, I'm not really sure what the ground does to be honest, but th what the output, um, depending on how much resistance this, the uh, current has to flow through, the output will be different. Um, so that got me thinking. So I had a look at this potentiometer and I thought, oh, that looks familiar. You got the, you got the ground output and voltage. Um, so I thought, Hey, um, what if I just, what if I just grounded, um, the voltage and the output so that there's no resistance and then we'll just get a full, we'll just get full volume all the time. Um, and then you can just con control it through your computer. And the interesting thing was that so actually the way I started was I got some um, isopropyl surface cleaner, just sprayed it on there, um, tried to get it in these little holes on the side, and then this was really sticky, and then I just I just um, rotated it a bunch with the, with the um, so this is on, um, whatever, um, I just rotated it a bunch then, that didn't really work, and actually that kind of made it worse because what happened was, so this is full volume down all the way 
anti-clockwise. What happened was, um, the, what happened was it used to be like, so this was a uh, quiet volume and then you turn it up and you know, you'd get smooth volume zero to a hundred percent all the way to the end. Um, but what happened after I sprayed the alcohol on and I twisted it a bunch, um, it, I'm not quite sure what happened, but I, you would twist it and there'd be no volume and then all of a sudden it would just go reasonably loud and then basically it was like the zero to 100 scale kind of moved up the, uh, basically once you got to halfway turned, like then the volume would start coming on. And so the bottom half, it was just quiet the whole time, which was really weird and I hadn't done that before. So what I did was I actually read this uh, image wrong and I thought that this was the positive and this was the output. So I shorted these two. And when I shorted those two, um, the volume actually stopped. So I can play. Yeah, so, you can probably hear that music, I'll turn it up a bit. When you short the, the left ones, the music stops. And so I did that, and I thought, oh no, um, shouldn't the music get louder, for example? Um, but... Then I realized, no, this is the positive and this is the output. So then, but the interesting thing was when I shorted the ground and the output, um, that issue where the, the volume wasn't adjustable throughout the whole uh, rotation went away and it became normally adjustable again, um, which was quite odd. Um, so if you're having this issue, I would recommend cleaning it and then maybe just shorting these and just seeing if it, you know, I don't really know electronics too well, but maybe it, you know, moved some fucking shit in the circuit or something. Um, but yeah, so then, then I tested, so you can see it's very quiet right now. It's actually on, but it's very quiet. But now when I short this, I think the song is finished though. All right, we have a new song. So you can hear it's quite, quite quiet. Do You Know Your Enemy by Green Day, I think. Now, oh no, Linkin Park. So yeah. Sorry about that for headphone users, but basically when you short, <laughs> when you short the positive and the output, you get full volume. So yeah, for anyone with a Logitech um, X540, not sure why I was calling it S. I think it is S. Maybe it's not S. Um, but yeah, anyone with anyone with this sound system um, and this little this little gadget here um this is how you fix it to open it basically on the bottom there's these little feet you just open that and then there's screws under the feet um and yeah so i'm probably to be honest i'm probably just going to solder a little connection here um on the positive and ground and uh, no positive and output um and then just, and then just control it with my um, computer volume, because, uh, yeah. I was, to be honest, I was never really that big of a fan of this thing. I mean, it's all right, but it's nice being able to control the bass. Um, but yeah, you know, unless you want to buy a new potentiometer, and my my uh, multimeter actually ran out of battery, so. Um, I was going to test what kind of potentiometer this is. I think it has a number on it. Um, you could just replace it pretty easily. Um, but if you just want a simple hack, just freaking 
solder these two together and you can control the volume through the you know through software um yeah thanks thanks for watching this has been lopu designs yeah thanks for watching hope that helped and enjoy your music listening experience these are great speakers um if you haven't i highly recommend getting a uh ultimate is hyper boom they're incredible um yeah peace out and i'll see you on the flip side